Hello kids, my name is Firefighter Jay I'm with the Lakeville Volunteer Fire Department. Today I have a helper with me, this is Firefighter Laura, and we are going to do Dress the Firefighter. So with the fire department we get dressed right over our clothes. So the firefighters first we start with our boots, okay? These look like your boots, so they're a little different. They are a little different. So firefighters we take off our shoes, then we'll step into the fire boots. And watch this, the pants are connected right to the boots, okay? So they can get dressed really fast, all right? We've got these blue straps. These help hold up our pants, all right? Because if there's smoke in the house, where's the safe place to be? Down on the ground. So we got knee pads so that we can uh, crawl on the ground, all right? But the blue straps help hold our pants up, all right? The next thing that a firefighter needs is this hood, okay? This is gonna protect her hair, her ears, and her neck. So she's gonna put that on. Then we need our firefighter jacket, okay? Now, does this blue side, the inside look like that special glove that mom and dad's used to get the cookies out of the oven? It is. It helps us to keep the heat away from us. So she's gonna put that on. Then she's gonna zip it up. And if you watch closely, she's gonna fold the flap over, okay? That protects the zipper from the heat from coming in, okay? Now, firefighters, can firefighters breathe smoke? No, they cannot. So we need to bring in an air pack with us, okay? So we will put this on our back. It's got a bottle. What do you think's in the bottle? Fresh air, okay? So we're gonna put this on our back. Okay. And what's this look like? That looks like a seatbelt, okay? Hopefully you kids are wearing seatbelts in the car, all right? So firefighters, we have to wear our seatbelt. I'm gonna get the chest wrap. Okay. Now she's gonna pull down, all right? All right, so back here, you see the bottle and we've got this bell. All right, I'm gonna have firefighter Laura turn on the bottle. Listen for the bell. Did you hear the bell? So the fresh air comes out of the bottle over to the bell, goes up her shoulder and comes out this hose right here. Okay, do you guys wanna see the, the fresh air? All right, we'll do it on three. Watch right here, one, two, three. Did you see it? No? All right. So. You guys watching this time? We'll do it on three. One, two, three. You see it? All right, so we're gonna need a girl to help us out. Is there anybody that wants to volunteer? How about you right there? Come on up. All right, now you do know how to count, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have you count to three and this time we're gonna try to blow the air up and see if you guys can see it. So get your hand out here. One, two, Can you feel the air? Yeah. Is it cold? Okay. All right, well, thank you for helping out. If you want to sit back down, that would be great. Now, you guys saw how the fresh air kind of blows around. So firefighters, we actually need a mask, all right? Now, when firefighter Laura puts this mask on, is she gonna sound different? Yes, she is. So we'll put the mask on and then I'll have her talk to you. So when she's putting the mask on, you'll see the straps come over the top. All right, and then she's got a pulley straps on the side tight so the mask fits to her face. Then the hood comes up over the top. Okay. All right. So kids, you want, you want her to say hi? Laura, can you say, hey kids, how you doing? Hi kindergartners, how are you? All right, so it sounds a little different. Okay, but she needs that on to be safe. Now, next thing we need is our helmet, okay? You guys wear helmets on your bicycles, right? Yep. So we gotta make sure that we click that in so that it doesn't fall off, because if I have an ax and I go to swing, I don't wanna hit her in the head, and then it would fall off, okay? So we got our helmet on. The next thing is there's a hole in the mask. You can take your head back, right here. And we're gonna take that fresh air and slide that in and click it in, all right? 
So now if you guys listen, you can hear her breathing, okay? <sighs> okay, now, is firefighter Laura ready to go into the house? What are, what are we forgetting? The fire gloves, okay? So she's gotta get her fire gloves on. Now, firefighter Laura, has she been in your house before? No, does she know where she's going? No, but if we have smoke in the house, where do we say the safe places to be is? Down on the ground. So she comes in on the ground, okay? She puts one hand on the wall and she uses her other hand to search. And she's gonna say, firefighter, anybody in here? Anybody home? Go ahead and say it. Anyone in here? Is anyone home? So if you, kids, if you can hear, say, firefighter, I'm over here. You say it? Perfect. So you got to say it loud because with the air and the breathing, it, it's kind of loud. So you guys have to be loud because as soon as she finds you, she gets to go back outside. All right. So um, also we've got the reflective gear on here. So in case there's a car accident, are you supposed to be in the middle of the street? No. So the headlights will shine on this. It's really bright. So your parents will not run firefighter Laura over. All right. Well, thanks, kids. My name is Firefighter Jay, Firefighter Laura, and our helper, Charlie. Thank you for watching.